Welcome to Design Core 3, Distribution. So this is going to be all about what you do after you've designed and manufactured and printed a game, um, and it's time to start getting it out into the world. So we're going to talk about the logistics of doing that, um, as well as how to build an audience and create connections with um, retailers and distributors and um, yeah, all of that good stuff. Like the, it's often surprising that uh, the what comes after the design and manufacturing is an equal part of um, what goes into um, the first parts of making a game. So in this uh, note, I'm going to talk about building an audience. And so this is how, how do you create a group of people that are just going to be um, into the game you're making? And how do you reach out to them and talk to them and, and keep the conversation going so that over time, um, yeah, you have that sort of core um, group, uh, however big it may be. It could be like you know a dozen people, it could be hundreds of people um, that will be there and that will support you and are keen to you know give feedback and comments and stuff like that. Um, so the three things that I generally um, am trying to do more of, because you know we're, we're all learning, we're always learning how to do these things. But what I really like doing is um, through social media and stuff like that, like asking questions. So that can be either you know what is your opinion on X or Y, like what choice should I make in the game that I'm doing. Um, asking people if they know someone that might be able to help with a certain step of the process. So reaching out to other game designers and saying like, hey, like, do you know reviewers or retailers that I might be able to chat to or manufacturers? Um, and also um, asking people like what what they think would be um, the best next move for the stage that you're at. Um, so that's really good. And also, where possible, doing um, some kind of like video thing or online playtest or in-person um, events regularly uh, where people can come along and um, try things out uh, and meet you face to face. I think that's really important because the more that you can get um, your passion and your like um, tenacity and persistence in the creation of these games, the more you can get that out there into the world, the more people will see it and like it and react to it and want to be a part of it. Um, I'm a fan of a lot of people myself, and that's what I really enjoy seeing is when they just, you know, they just never give up and they keep going and keep trying and um, keep reaching out uh, with the work that they're doing. Um, it creates a lot of investment. So another aspect of this is, so that's sort of how you reach out and, and bring everyone together, but also um, thanking people is really important as well. So if you send a copy to a reviewer or if you do a playtest day or something or when you launch a game and do a launch event, um, make sure you really thank everyone, uh, either like personally if possible or you know, in, um, during a speech or as a post or something like that because your core audience, like your core group of people, that your community, um, is really going to be the bedrock upon which everything else is built and is a really fantastic um, group to go to when you have new ideas or when you're um, getting a project off the ground uh, because yeah they'll be the early adopters and will want to be a part of that. The final thing that I'd say about this is like where possible like be generous like as generous as you can be um, to your community without asking for things back. So if you're, you know, doing like a, and that's conditional, of course, like, you know, if you're, if you're doing a playtest event, that could mean like buying everyone a coffee or something, if you're able to, like, but obviously that's, you know, that have to come to the event and play the games, but that's not always expected. Um, and just doing little things like that, I think is a really, um, it's just a nice way to let people know that you appreciate what they're doing for you. Um, audiences and communities that are um, one common thing that happens as audiences get bigger is, is that personal touch and appreciation uh, can be forgotten so and one of the best ways to you know like maintain your, your, your connection with your community is by just saying thanks and, and, and giving what you can when you can so um, yeah, those are my little bits of advice for building an audience and, and keeping an audience as well. Uh, please uh, give me any you know feedback or um, questions in the comments, and yeah, good luck.